Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex and in this video I will show you something special. Because I'm a constant contributor in the Firebase community on Stack Overflow, I've seen so many questions regarding the way the developers want to make Firebase product work together. Most of them are looking to using technologies that are recommended by the Android team. Here are a few asked questions that I've seen. For example, how to authenticate user with Firebase and write their own data directly to Firebase. Firestorm, or how to create a clean Firebase authentication with Google, or how to keep track of the user's auth state in Firebase, or how to read data from Firestore or from the real-time database using Kotlin Scorer. Another example would be how to handle the on-click event on a Firestore record and navigate forward to another activity or fragment or how to save, for instance, a timestamp property into a Firestore doc. And the example could go on and on. So I decided to create a demo app, especially for learning purposes. So please meet the Fire app, which was recently published in Google Play. It's an open source project that is built around a few Firebase products. This is application which is written entirely in Kotlin using Android architecture components and the MVVM architecture path. You'll see in the code of this repo, link is in the description below, how Firebase products are working together. So I hope I have answered at least the earlier question with this real-world application example. Let's take a look at the technologies that I have used in this project. From Firebase, I have used Firebase authentication using Google Provider, Cloud Firestore, the real-time database, and the cloud storage for hosting the images. For the Android architecture component, I have used the live data and the view model. For dependency injection, I have used Hilt. For the asynchronous programming, obvious Kotlin coroutine together with Flow. Other Android components would be Android Navigation Component and View Binding, and for loading and caching the images, it will be Glide. So what exactly does this application do? First of all, it offers the user the possibility to sign in with Google using a clean Firebase authentication. Every time a user opens the app, the user is redirected to the authentication activity or to the main activity according to the auth state. Let's close the application and let's open it again. If the user is new, meaning that it signs in for the first time, then some user's data like the name, the email address, the image URL, and the date of the creation are written to Firestorm. Once the authentication process is complete, the user is redirected to the profile frag, in which it will see a recycler view containing, at least for the moment, two Firebase products. The first product is called Cloud Firestore, and the second one is the real-time database. On a Firebase product click, the user will be redirected to another fragment where some dummy data will be displayed. In fact, there are some movies displayed. Each movie object contains a name, a year, and a post. On a movie click, the user navigates forward to see the movie details frag. If we go back, we can select the other Firebase product, which is the real-time database, and we can see the movies that are read from the second database. If the user signs out, the auth listener files, and the user will be redirected to the authentication activity. So this is how this application works. A really simple application, but with many things going on behind the scenes. In the end, please note that this is also a video for an article that I wrote, link is in the description below, which was recently published on the Firebase Tips and Tricks publication on Medium. Also, being an open source project, you are more than welcome to contribute. However, if you find things that are not easy to understand, leave a comment so I can provide you more insights. If something's about the code, post a question on Stack Overflow so I or other Firebase developers can help.
So in the end, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. But if you think you learned something new, please subscribe to my channel as more videos are coming. Bye.